Oh, baby. I have something yes. to talk to you about, too. What's that? What's up, babe? Oh, I was looking at this program, a nursing program that I'd like to apply for, you know, a good idea to go after my own dreams, too. I've always wanted to be a nurse. Is that a joke? No, it's not a joke. So why are you smiling? I'm serious. But that's not why you came here. Uh, that's not why. We didn't... That's, that wasn't the plan. I don't want oh, you to you work. No, it's before you, we got married, you know I would love to be a nurse, that this is my life. No, 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 I, no, no. Babe, we had a plan. We had a plan. What was the plan? You are, I'll go to work, I'll go make the money, you take care of the babies. That was the plan. So I'm supposed to sit in this, oh my God, I'm supposed to be in this house by myself oh, what, with the kids. I need to get out of here. I can't breathe. Listen, you, you you can't just wake up one day and just change plans on me. That doesn't work like that. I, so we, why we did I even go to school? I have my, my, my bachelor's. I thought oh, you I just wanted to right go. Now. I thought you just wanted to go. But we had a plan. We had a plan. You, the, I'll be... You want to go back to Nigeria, and what's the whole point of the plan before? If you now came here and you're telling me something, is this how you're going to be changing on me? You're just going to wake up one day and just change on uh, me? This is not fair. Oh, this is not fair at all. This is not, uh-uh. In this time and age, women are walking. They're going, I, I can help you. I can support you. I can be there for you. I can, you know, it's not every time you'll be having money in your pocket now. I can be there for you. I can pay the bills too. Hey, this is Lola and Ola. We're coming to you from lolanola.com. Uh, we have a topic today. What's the topic again? My husband's secrets. My my wife said my husband's secrets. My husband's secrets. Excuse you, I didn't say that. Well, my husband's husband secrets. Secret. Oh, there you go. I thought maybe I thought it was but anyway. Sorry, we're back here. <laughs> Doesn't that remind you of 2009? When we first launched our first YouTube uh, channel, yeah, go back and forth, tease mm -hmm. you a little bit. You're always but, teasing me. What are you talking about? But we're about? back here. We're talking about my husband's secret right now. Don't forget to grab the book, get my marriage back at getmymarriageback.com. So what do we have? We have an email, right? We have yes. An email. Okay. Let's go for it, baby. Come on. All right. My husband's secrets. I watched a video on how to save my marriage back. And I must say, I learned a lot from it. Thank you. My husband has been in the U.S. for about 10 years before he brought me to join him. This is my third year of being in the U.S. with him, and our marriage will be nine years in December. Since I came here, I have observed that he hides a lot of things from me. I don't have access to his phone, his account, or his laptop. When I asked him... He said his phone is personal. Okay. He is a nurse and works night shift almost every night. He doesn't have time for me and my two kids. He doesn't allow me to work. So I decided to go to school for nursing and he agreed to sponsor my school. Anytime I raised the issue of work, he would flare up and threaten to send me back to Nigeria. Oh my oh. God. The worst of it all is that I suspect cheating based on some of his attitudes and, his, and he denied. He even traveled out of state to hang out with his friends for four days and I was not happy about it. When I asked him to show me his flight ticket com confirmation, he refused and turned it into an argument. Hmm. Whenever he's going to work, he always kisses me and tells me he loves me, but his actions are obviously contradictory. He does the groceries himself. I can go on and on. Right now, I feel cheated and confused. I am worried about my kids too. Please, I need help. I am sorry for the long message, just the way I feel. Mm -hmm. What do you think, babe? I feel like, um, um, I feel like, um, it sounds see. like a woman that, um, it, it feel a woman that feels trapped. Mm. Um, what I see is that they've been married for nine years. Okay. She just moved over about three years now. So they've been married for three years. Well, go ahead. Well, technically, <laughs> they've been married for three years. Mm -hmm. 
actuality because the thing is long distance relationships you guys don't really know each other until you start living together mm -hmm. even relationships in the same state if you haven't lived together you would not know this person's real character until you start living with them mm -hmm. so and i feel like most men that are in long distance marriages you know they tend to be still be single right for a while so they're used to their ways of doing things by themselves now is this guy cheating i don't know it could be mm -hmm. it, and it might not even be cheating it could just be like you know what it, it feels like his freedom is about to be taken away from him right he hasn't really matured into a married man he's still in a single man face right right now as per the her not being able to walk i don't think that's right obviously because Assuming she's working, she'll probably have time to herself that she won't be obsessing over his phone, his laptop, and all that mess. Mm -hmm. But when you don't have anything you're doing, you know, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Your mind travel far about things, and things that he's doing mm -hmm. will start to turn into something else in her own mind. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like... Um, that's wrong she should be able to work even if it's a part-time job right and if it's not going who's to wrong work, who's wrong um she she's wrong or the husband is wrong she needs to put her feet down mm -hmm. and i don't and and she needs to feel, put her feet down and stop fearing that he's gonna send that to me what does that even mean she every time she exactly mm -hmm. but she needs to put her feet down and say no i need to get a now, job what is putting your feet down she needs like... to actually go out and find a job <laughs> but then this guy is threatening then let him go ahead with his I threat mean, that looks like that's a real fear that she has yes he's gonna send her to nigeria because she wants to walk right. that doesn't even make any sense then she needs to call his bluff Hmm. she needs to get herself back that's uh what i can say as per that but as per the cheating get herself back how leave the marriage no how she needs to do <sighs> babe you can't just tell me not to work and i say no i'm going to and i go out and i look for so a if job I told you're you, gonna you lock me outside work, what oh, are you gonna do what i can't what what wait 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 what <laughs> am i gonna do i'm gonna yes. tell you that i have the right to work and i'm gonna work okay and I said, go and try it. And, and I will try I'm... it. Sometimes you have to. So when you try it, if you don't come back, I said, you're not coming in this house. Or you need to find your levels. Well, maybe that's not the marriage for me then. Because okay. you can't be in a marriage and be trapped. So, but that also means that you don't, your mind, you don't mind. You, you have to be in a you place that you know you that you can to... handle that. Yes. So if she's not... Then we got a problem. Well, then, uh, yeah, then that's where the problem is. She needs to be ready to take that action, mm -hmm. and she really needs to expect the worst out right. of it. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. You open this up for me, real okay. quick. Uh, a couple of things I just wanted to point out. Let me see because it's a it's a long email, but I think there's some very important information in there um, that I think we should address. First of all, this is like a battle between. There's an ongoing battle between secrecy and privacy in marriages mm -hmm. right so uh at what level uh is your secrecy i mean is your how do i say it's your privacy crossing boundaries into for your marriage because your marriage is a relationship on its own a complete entity by itself you have you you have me but you have that thing in between called a relationship mm -hmm. or a marriage right so for that, for the health of that marriage or that relationship, at what point does privacy crosses an unhealthy boundary? And you're obsessed with into, the phones and the laptops and stuff like into, that. You know, this is something that we've experienced uh, in terms of wanting to keep secret, not secret, but wanting to maintain privacy. Mm. Uh, up to today, we, we don't really dig into each other's phone. No. But... But, you know, you know what's going mm -hmm. get, what's gonna get me because mm -hmm. we don't dig into each other's phone, mm -hmm. and but your phone goes off and I just, you know, how I just pick it up and say, oh, mm -hmm. babe, here's your phone. And I go, I touch your phone, and like, oh my god, and you're jumping. 
then that's gonna right. tell me there's problem. something off somewhere. Right. Because your fear. phone, your phone lays mm -hmm. around, my phone lays around right. because we just trust each other like that. Right. Like, right. We right. have nothing to hide. Right. But if you so, have to jump, and I have to jump, mm -hmm. then yeah. So it almost problem. so that's again privacy. Right. Well, privacy is for a spouse to be respected for the other spouse. Right. Secrecy is when you know that you're keeping something and it's not just that I know I'm keeping something now. Right. You could tell the, the vibe is off. Right. And you could tell that I'm keeping like some kind of secret. Because this whole thing is about vibe. Mm -hmm. People want to feel comfortable that in a relationship they can trust you. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's what it's about. Because mm -hmm. if you could trust me, you don't really have a reason to doubt or anything like that or start digging through anything like that. But right. once you start getting into a space where you can't trust me, it could be because I made you feel that way, it could be because you're naturally True. nosy, yeah. for whatever reason, then then you have these issues. So it's really a privacy versus secrecy thing that's happening in a lot of relationships. Right. And um, for me, it's pretty easy, you know. If somebody wants to keep secret, if they want to keep secret, that becomes privacy. Mm. Right? So again, let's look at this thing, step back a little bit. Let's look at it from a standpoint of attraction. But that's one thing that needs to hold your marriage together. If you call it an intimate relationship, right. where you guys want to have good sexual relationship, you want to have good family, you want to feel like there's a reason why I should be here. Because people get to a space, you know, I was just talking about it earlier today, where they say, I love him, but we can't be married. That means they don't want sexual or anything anymore. Mm -hmm. But they can still love because they have they two, love three kids. The love and... of God. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. So, so now let's bring it back because if you still want to be in a sexual relationship with that person, you need attraction. So one thing that kills attraction is somebody wanting to hold on to certain information as a level of secrecy. But you're saying, oh, I want to see that. Well, mm. that old energy right there will kill attraction yeah, by default. That won't help. So you need to be in a place where uh, I'm not even making him or her feel uncomfortable to the point where she needs to feel uh, hold on to secrecy. I've seen women say, I just don't want him to see that. I don't trust him. Mm. Right? Like, for example, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's where they are. That's where the space where they are, where they feel like, I, I don't want to tell him I'm building a house in Nigeria. I don't trust him. Mm. That's because they don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he made her feel uncomfortable. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. They don't feel comfortable. They're not in that space. So imagine that person, you need to tell me everything. Well, guess what? Attraction is going down for every time that's happening. Sorry, babe. This is, this is, uh, this is uh, easy. We have to keep it on. I will keep it on, I promise. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's, that's one thing that I'm noticing here. The whole thing about jobs, the profession she wants or anything like that, your your profession you need how you want to choose your professional life right mm -hmm. she's the one complaining so i need to focus on her you need to take responsibility for that mm -hmm. okay how confident you are in following that path mm -hmm. how confident are you can you get into a place where you say dude this is not negotiable right you know what i'm sorry i need to i, I need to go find a job oh my mm -hmm. god <laughs> sorry mm -hmm. baby you know, maybe I can blow this one up, right? Maybe you should. Mm -hmm. So, you you know, you need to be in a place where the person is comfortable. Like, right. to this is about this is about again. I want to go from a standpoint of attraction. I just don't, I don't want to give rules like everybody else. Or the rules you should not keep secret privacy. We all know that everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Outside of that, you want to maintain a healthy relationship, a marriage. You want to have a, a robust situation where nobody's even feeling like they should hold somebody on the neck because they are holding on to information. Then if somebody wants to hold on to some information and is feeling like secrecy, this is your test. Mm -hmm. Okay? How can they get to a place where they don't feel the need to keep secret from you again? Some people are just bad. I get mm -hmm. it. They're just bad people and they want to hold secret from you. But you trying to strangle that information out of them, it's not going to help. Right. So you need to get to a place where you're okay with them holding on to the information or secret they want to hold on to or choose to move on with your life. You, right. have, those, you have those choices as an adult at any point in time. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now, if you guys get on the same team, which can take time, if you guys have been in a very bad place, it will take, take time to get to a place where you're on the same team. If you know in your heart that you guys have been in a very bad place, but in this situation, you've married a person who has been basically single for majority of no, aspect of the marriage. Mm -hmm. So for seven years out of the last 10 years, mm -hmm. you haven't lived together. And now he's the man and everybody, the society thinks is a man's world, mm -hmm. right? So it's not going to help you out by trying to strangle information out of him, right? The best thing you can do for yourself is this part where you're talking about your career, that part, you have the rights to it. You have the right to say, no, 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 I'm, I'm going to find a job and I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. And even if that means you have to drag him. And if that means you have to, it's, it's just a matter of holding your ground and say, this is why I want to work. Yeah. I need that for my sanity. For the most part, women don't necessarily want to work because they want to pay bills or mm -hmm. they want responsibility. Sometimes people just want to get out mm -hmm. and not feel like they're... Uh, they make their own decisions about their life. In, in captivity, right? Right. With, well, what I don't get is it won't let her work, but it would sponsor a nursing school. Like, when so she's that was a little confusing. School, yeah. When exactly. she's done with school, won't she go and pursue a career as a nurse? Because to me, that doesn't even make it. So it's a good chance that it's a guy who is not too secured in himself, mm -hmm. right? A man who doesn't want, who is insisting you can't go to work, mm -hmm. it's, it's a level of insecurity. Mm -hmm. If I may have, I may have a, a preference that my wife should not go to work. Mm -hmm. If she says she wants to go to work, so be it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to root for you. her yeah. to go to work because yeah. Now, at this point, it's not because she want to pay bills. She just need that for her sanity. So mm. it takes a man, man to right. understand that, right? right? But if you find yourself in zero, a man doesn't understand, then that's when I will say, hold your ground. You know, that's, I will go to work. So, but you may find yourself, let's be honest. You yes. may find yourself in a very bad spot where you have to choose between going to work mm -hmm. and getting out and, and your, and your husband kicking you out. If yeah. you have a very, if you have a guy a husband who is uh, really, really a narcissistic person who is not going to get it. Just be prepared for that. Hopefully, you're going to work in a way that you can sustain yourself. So, you have to weigh the two. These are the decisions we have to make in yes. life sometimes. I don't want to tell you that you just go ahead and hold your ground. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to end up uh, uh, homeless on the street when you could have really maneuvered that situation with some discretions mm -hmm. and find a way to kiss him on the side a little bit, give him what he wants, mm -hmm. give him more of what he wants, and then whisper in his ear, I would really like to go to work. Mm -hmm. There are ways you can do that. You can get him into a space. But chances are, are a mm -hmm. man that would threaten a woman that, oh, I want to send you back to Nigeria just because mm -hmm. you say you want to work is probably some... Well, I think it's important uh, that we should tell them... Some we, guy that is overly obsessed with himself. I think it's important that we should tell her yeah that no one can send you back to nigeria yeah. it doesn't work that way no it you doesn't know, it doesn't work that way even if they brought you here even if they seized your passport already mm. you can they don't want that kind of attention okay so you can easily say no you're not going to send me back to nigeria no i'm going to talk to the authorities if he insists and he's trying to do they can't send you back to nigeria unless you believe so know your rights mm. so know your rights when it comes to immigration know your rights if you have somebody who is really really stupid like that they may attempt to do some things, but basically what they're going to do is buy a ticket and then drive you down to the airport. They will still have to they're drag not, you down to the airport. Yeah, basically. they're not going to do that. They don't want that kind of attention. <laughs> so I think you're, you're, if you have fear of that, it's because you don't know your rights. Mm -hmm. Know your rights from an immigration uh, standpoint. Okay. Now, this part right here, what do you think? The worst of it is that I suspect him cheating based on some of his attitudes and he denied. No, attitudes are not good enough. Mm -hmm. to you know hold someone her she's suspecting what can she do about suspicions um like i said when you're not busy that's when you have time for okay you did mention that yeah nonsense like that yeah you have to keep yourself occupied you have to focus yeah. on yourself you can't even if you have no proof you've not caught this guy cheating you can't even talk about cheating yeah it's a non-issue until you yeah. actually have proof and that doesn't mean you should start digging out for proof exactly what she said is absolutely right maybe you need to put all that energy in the part where you want to work right. he's sending you to school right now he's sending you to go do nursing focus on that put all your energy into that uh suspicion that he's cheating based off of attitude well clearly you guys are not in a great place but see what you can bring to the table in terms of uh emotionally 
into mm-hmm. the space mm-hmm. you know what is it that it likes to do you know what that thing is if you don't know then it's really really bad you need to find out what you can bring and you can give to him from an emotional and that relationship standpoint that or there are moments when you know you you got him right or find a way to to expand those moments i mean it's still kiss her to say goodbye and he loves her so you can still and, and i was gonna go there oh, which sorry. is which is this part right here where you know anytime he's going out there's there are men like that they, they can be narcissistic and all mm-hmm. of that they can actually be doing the wrong things and they will still come home kiss you like everything is good and all uh basically there is a strength there for your relationship that you can capitalize on that strength is that this is a man who likes to feel like a man mm. okay so if he likes to feel like a man the last thing you want to do is make him feel less of a man right okay um and if you can figure that out in your relationship where he feels more like a man then his balls are yours <laughs> basically you got the balls, <laughs> you, got the balls. Yeah. you need to figure that out on how you're gonna make him feel like a man always whatever that is without taking away from you okay mm. fine because if you don't have it you can't give it Mm-mm. you need to be in a great place for you so find a very safe haven for you mentally emotionally but where you can still give him that part where he can feel like a man so i don't know right now he's taking care of you a lot of appreciation men who are like that they like appreciation they like when you remind them of mm-hmm. everything they've done for strokes you strokes their ego yes stroke their ego mm. one thing that men will complain a lot about is that i'm not appreciated that's very common yes all right so you could set yourself apart easily by appreciating it all he needs is words mm-hmm. just say thank you so much for being great uh, such a great husband mm-hmm. um if you find that that's very weird it's very weird for some women to do that too if you find that that's very weird to do that's the work so you need to do it you need to do the work because if you can find yourself doing that he's gonna melt yeah because he cares about something he cares about making you feel like it's the man is providing you don't need to go to work right mm-hmm. make him feel that way and then find a way to slide in what is it that you want i promise you all the rules throw them out the window mm-hmm. all the this is how it's supposed to be people should not keep secrets people mm-hmm. uh, forget, forget. Yeah. people will keep secret if they don't feel comfortable sharing that information with you right. that's just the bottom line it could be a woman it could be a man right mm-hmm. People will hold on to what they call privacy. What is privacy in a marriage? It really doesn't make sense mm-hmm. from a theoretical standpoint, but people do it, mm-hmm. right? Why do people do it? Because people are people, right? So the difference in what we're sharing with you here is the difference between the theory, what is supposed to be, what should be, and the reality. The reality is that people are people even inside of marriage. So if they, if they want to keep that a secret, the, the best way to decrease the attraction of your marriage is to try to take away that privacy, that privacy from them. Okay? If they want to share with you, the best way to increase the attraction in their marriage is open arms. Mm-hmm. Protect their secret for them. Mm-hmm. Let them feel comfortable. Not, not by your words, by your actions, actions over yeah. time. In the meanwhile, Maybe you have too much time worrying about if it's keeping secret or not. Maybe you should focus on that, mm-hmm. on that part where you get what you want, give him what he wants, so that you can get, get what, what you, you want, want and you have your own life. Everyone go to work, they come back at night, they kisses, mm-hmm. and then we have an awesome life that everyone envies. Mm-hmm. So I hate to bust her bubble. Why is my husband hiding things from me? Husband's secret. Mm-hmm. Your husband has secret because that's just how comfortable they are right now. Mm. Like you said, for majority of your marriage, this guy has been a single man, really, in reality. Yep. So it's going to take you, it's going to take patience. And the best way to have patience is to be busy with your own life mm-hmm. because, you know, he's not paying attention if you still want to be in a marriage. If you don't, then you bet you have a choice. You can say, I don't want to be in this marriage either. And that's okay too. Maybe it's not okay. It's completely up to you. But what's not okay uh, is you trying to forcefully take the information. Mm-mm. Forget about put that in their phone, in their computer. It's not worth it. Yeah. You know, I mean, if it's the only computer in the house, you can say, hey, can I use the computer sometimes? You can say that. If, the, that's, the only, if that's not the only computer in the house, um, 
You don't need that. You because whatever it is you're looking is for, you don't need to see. After you even see what you're okay, so mm-hmm. it's cheating. After you find out, so what's gonna happen? Exactly. It's gonna get worse. Right. It's just like that question I'm suspecting. Okay, you're suspecting. Now what? Any solutions for that? That's why you don't ever want to operate off of your suspicions or anything your like fears. that. If you have fears or anything like that, you're gonna attract what you fear the most. Yeah. Um, but you're, you're gonna do it faster by <laughs> by basically exercising or you know operating out of fear. You know. So definitely, why is my husband hiding things from me? It's not your fault. That's number one. It's not your fault. Why is your husband keeping secret? It's not your fault. But the real question is that how do you have so much space and time mm. and energy to to figure that they're hiding something from you? Why? That's the real question you ask that you, that you need to answer. Why am I? Why do I know? Because we live in the same house, I guess. How can we not know every time somebody is keeping secret from you? How can we get into a place where I'm not worried about that? This is just another adult who is not comfortable with sharing that kind of information with you yet so now you get to choose if you want to be in that relationship or not because yeah. we're not trying to force you to stay in that relationship either mm-hmm. we're just trying to give you your best options here that's all is there any magical thing we could say to him to make him behave no nope. and stop hiding secrets he's a grown man we can't control other people this is this is where people come from with this kind of question. They expect maybe we have like a magical no, thing we could say. We don't have black magic to get uh, your spouse to stop keeping secrets, no. right? Doesn't exist. What no, exists is your happiness. It comes from inside. It's not gonna come from him. It's not. Anything else you wanna have, babe? I thought that was a good email. Deep one. <laughs> There are people going through that, right. especially when you 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 have a long distance marriage and you come together eventually. Mm-hmm. It takes a while yeah. to figure this stuff. You know, when me and you got married, mm-hmm. you know how we had to go through our own first year issues, and mm-hmm. still it spilled all the way to our tenth year. Mm-hmm. They basically have to deal with that. Yeah, it doesn't all matter if you've been married for fifteen years. Yeah. If you've not lived together. You're still gonna get to that point. You have to deal with. Yeah, it. you have and to get to know is, that person. And that's what's and going that's, on and that's right gonna now. Be, that can be painful because yeah, it's growth. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. you need a lot of patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what are the hopes that they can fix this marriage? As it's broken because our feelings are valid. What are the hopes? What, what's the chances here? I feel like um, it's very like I said, patience. Patience. It might be also so. Patience is the best chances. Much. To fix this broken mind. Patience mm-hmm. and not feeling cheated. Not dwelling on the feelings mm-hmm. that you're feeling. Because right. you don't even have an actual thing. You, right. this is, these are your feelings. These are just suspicions. On, yes, based suspicions. on this attitude. You know, because we men, like for me, for example, mm-hmm. when I first got, when before we got married, you know, mm-hmm. but every woman can relate to this mm-hmm. balling having the best time of your life mm-hmm. once you guys start living together women were still in that mindset that you know it's just do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. but the man is like okay she's my wife now now i know yeah. how you guys are you yeah. just got much you, you, you get com- okay. you become yeah. complacent yeah basically. so i feel like that's a big part of their marriage right now and yeah. you know the she's she, she can't, you know, deal with that. And they probably are not communicating about it. Mm-hmm. Or even they're trying to communicate about it. But well, he doesn't see... The guy see is not even allowing it. This, this guy, let's let's explore this guy's mind for a second. Right. He doesn't know. He probably doesn't know the wife is feeling this way right now. He's uh, complacent. He yeah, thinks he got it. He's very complacent. He, he, he thinks she's not. she has nowhere else to go. Absolutely, hum her life, mm-hmm. and that's it. And I brought that to and America. And she has to follow my rules. What the hell she, right. does she think she is? She can't go anywhere. Yeah, that's why man. I said. That's yeah. why I said, know your right. He doesn't know any better. Yeah, know, know your right. But but unfortunately, he's not the one complaining. And the fact that you're complaining means you have an upper hand. Means you have control. Right. So your control is the strength. The strength is that he kisses. He likes to feel like a man. He like. Now you need to find out how you're gonna use that to your advantage. Right. Those are moments you want more of. Those moments, the moment that's creating this issue for you in your own emotions is your suspicions 
and the fact that he doesn't want you to work and all this thing the fact that he doesn't want you to work you can figure out how to get that out of the, the fact that he likes to be a man and kisses you can figure that out but the part where your suspicion that's completely on you you have to control that yes he doesn't allow you into his computer or anything like that tell him to create another account for you have a peace of mind the guy that's of mind the, the, what Fact. you need at the end of the day see you're gonna get out of this all this i want this i want to see this i want to you're gonna get out of that see older people they'll tell you very quickly like they just want a peace of mind they just mm. want a friend just mm. want a best friend in their wife in their husband right. but the early the people in the in the beginning in the beginning like uh sorry younger people come with all these rules and all this craziness yeah, and, and we're in a different world where you know all these rules are being thrown everywhere yes people will say oh, but then also they're will... having the most divorce yeah people will say <laughs> people will say things like oh you're going through this i would never take that from anybody you don't know what they're taking oh, yeah. you don't want to follow anyone because your journey is different that. from other it's people's different. journey yeah so basically i just prescribe a lot of patience yes. and i prescribe patience. that you have you know self-respect for yourself at the same mm -hmm. time and i also prescribe that you get busy very yes. you're doing a nursing yes. program that can't be easy yeah you that know, should be occupying that your can time never be yeah. easy yeah. and you have your kids and don't worry about maybe he's gonna let you walk after finishing it finish <laughs> it first don't worry about tomorrow finish it now That's enjoy it that moment you. now you know yeah and you mentioned respect just now self-respect it's very very true because the the truth of the matter is that if you have self-respect for yourself you will not be begging somebody to get into their phone and their computer. That's another aspect that people don't look at it. Mm -hmm. Some people think if you have self-respect, you will not allow a husband to walk See, I'm shaking you. my head. <laughs> to not allow you to... No, no, no. If you have self-respect, you're not snooping. You don't like... Hold on to your damn computer then. I don't want the computer. Yeah. That will be self-respect. That will be... I'm feeling myself. Yeah. I don't want access to your BS. Mm hmm and you really mean that authentically. Yes. And the, the fact that you take away that kind of power from them, that shocks them. That you like it's almost like you're indifferent. You don't care. Yes. And all of a sudden attraction grows. Yeah. And just then now don't care. they inherit the fears that you've been having. Right. And you will start to that panic if you and had have anxiety, yeah. you transfer it on them just mm -hmm. because you decided to act opposite like that. Right. But if they say, No, no, you can't have access to my community, you go like you can't and you start overacting and start acting around the house and stuff like that you, you what your that negative energy is just spreading more and more and you're not and life is just going past you just like that every minute is gone. every moment counts what is it in this moment that you can do for yourself for yourself forget him for a second that you can have happiness yes. from what you've written here focus on that study when it gets to it and you need to find a job say hey babe i love you to death mm. Kiss kiss in the morning when he's feeling like a man. Say, I need to find a job. I'm well, just telling better you. Better still yeah. apply for a job. Yeah. This are the jobs I saw. And don't this argue. Is where I'm gonna Start be taking working. action. Don't argue about yeah. it. Just say that's really what I want to do. I'm gonna be happier for me. I'm doing it for me, not for us. Don't worry about us. I know you got us, baby. I trust you. I believe in you. I know that you will take care of us. But this part is for me. Remember, all he wants is to feel like a man. That's what this guy wants. This it's typical a lot of men are like typical that narcissistic they, you know what but you can reverse engineer that all back on him yes. all these anxieties that you have right now you can completely transfer it back on him and then he will start wondering what is she up to mm -hmm. you know and before you know it you got his balls in your hands all up in there mm -hmm. don't go all up in there we'll, and you'll we'll be the boss the lady <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hopefully you've been enlightened, educated. If you really want to, this concept of attraction, not reacting, all this stuff, we cover it with our own personal story instead of getmymarriageback.com. Just go to getmymarriageback.com and you can get this book absolutely for free. You can download it. It's also available in Kindle, audio, uh, audible, available in paperback, just like this. Mm -hmm. Right? You can have access anytime you want. Hopefully you've been enlightened and educated. We'll see you on the next one and peace.